Senpai. I'm sorry. I can't believe you overslept again. It's just like back in middle school. I'm sorry. I'm not your personal alarm clock, you know. You can't rely on me to wake you up every day. I'm sorry. If it bothers you so much, maybe we should stop walking to school together. No, that... That's not what I... Just forget it, okay? Anyway, I want you to meet me on the school rooftop at lunchtime. Got it? Huh? Why? Stop being so difficult! Just be there, alright? And don't keep me waiting. Okay, okay. I'll be there. Good! Um, Osana, don't you think you were a bit... harsh? I know. I feel so bad about it. But I didn't do it on purpose, it just... happened. Every time I think he's about to realize how I feel about him, I get afraid he'll reject me. It makes me feel so scared. I start saying stuff to make him think I don't like him. Why do I have to be this way? Why can't I just be honest with him? Don't beat yourself up over it, Osana. It'll be okay. Everything is going to work out fine. I sure hope so. idea. Maybe I shouldn't do this. What if he doesn't like it? Don't worry, I'm sure he's going to love it. I hope so. I just... I just want to make him happy. You will. Come on, let's go hang out. like you asked. H here What's this? It's a bento, stupid. You made me lunch? Don't get the wrong idea. I, I didn't make it for you. I just made too much food this morning. So you can have the extras. Oh, cool. Thanks a lot. Just shut up and eat it. What in this? Huh? What do you mean? My stomach really hurts all of a sudden. Hey! You shouldn't insult a girl's cooking, you dummy! I'm sorry. I can't finish it. I have to go. Huh? Senpai! Wait! Oh no. What did I do wrong?
always reading, Senpai. Oh, this? It's a very special book. My sister gave it to me. What's it called? What's it about? If you're really interested, I'd be willing to let you borrow it. But you have to promise to take good care of it. R really You... you'd let me... I mean, of course I'd take good care of it. That's obvious. All right then, I'll let you borrow it. Return it to me when school's over, okay? Yeah, I will. How did it go, Osana? It actually went surprisingly well. He let me borrow something, a book. It was a gift from his sister. Wow, really? Way to go! Are you going to read it right away? Nah. I'll wait until lunchtime. I'll read it at the fountain. In the same spot where he spends most of his time. It'll make me feel... closer to him. <laughs> oh, you. You're such a hopeless romantic. Just make sure to be careful with it. If it's a gift from his sister, it's probably really important to him. Right. I'll take good care of it. Okay, let's see what's so special about this book. Here's a good stopping point. Whew, time for a break. Just a quick stretch. Sana, so what'd you think of the book? Senpai, I'm so sorry. The book, I... Osana... How... How did this happen? I... I don't know. I, I'm sorry. I'll see you tomorrow, Sana. Goodbye. Senpai, wait! so much time in the school plaza. I like the sound of the fountain and the sight of the falling cherry blossoms. I think it's the most soothing place in the whole school. I... I think the most soothing place is next to someone you care about. Sorry, I couldn't hear that. What'd you say? N nothing but doesn't it get boring to spend most of your time sitting in one spot? If there's a nicer spot somewhere in the school, I'd love to see it. Oh yeah? Challenge accepted. I'll prove that I can find a better spot. Uh, it's not a competition. Don't underestimate me. I'll show you, senpai. You might be taking this a tad too seriously. Oh my god. I blew it. This is so embarrassing. Just kill me. Calm down, Osana. What's wrong? What happened? We were having a perfectly nice conversation, and then I turned it into some stupid competition or something! Ugh, what was I thinking?! Please, just relax. I'm sure it's not that bad. Just make the most of things, and I'm sure everything will turn out okay. <sighs> okay. I'll try. Thanks, Raibaru. You always know what to say in times like this. Don't mention it. I'm here for you, okay? Oh, 
This place is perfect. Senpai would love it here. right here the whole time. phrase it like that, but yeah, I'm free tonight. Good. Then you're gonna go see a movie with me. Huh? You mean... like a date? Idiot. It's not a date. I was gonna go with my friend, but she had to cancel. You're only coming with me so that her ticket doesn't go to waste. Got it? Well, it's not like I had any plans, so... Good. It's settled then. Meet me here at 5.30 so we can leave in time to see the film. Okay, if you say so. A date with Senpai. What was that? N nothing. He said yes! It's actually happening! I'm going on a date with Senpai! Congratulations! See, I told you there was nothing to fear. The last three times I went to a theater to watch a movie, I fell asleep and woke up during the credits. What if it happens again during my date? I die of embarrassment! Maybe you should take a nap before you go to the theater. Do you think that would help? <gasps> That's a brilliant idea! The school rooftop is really peaceful after cleaning time! I'll take a nap there! Sounds good! I'll watch over you and make sure that nobody disturbs you while you're sleeping. By the way, are you still interested in sunbathing at the pool during lunchtime? Oh, definitely! I'm looking forward to it! I don't want to fall asleep during the film. I'll just take a quick nap. Just gotta set my alarm and done. Shh, 
She's sleeping. Please try to be quiet. always late. Forget this, I'm going home. Senpai, what kind of music do you like? Well, lately I've been listening to a lot of classic stuff. Beethoven, Mozart, Bach. So a bunch of old dead guys? You've got some pretty strange tastes, Senpai. Oh yeah? What do you listen to? J-pop and J-rock! Obviously! Ah, that's not really my type of music. You just haven't found the right bands yet. I'll put together a playlist for you to listen to at lunchtime. Well, I suppose it wouldn't hurt. I'll be waiting on the rooftop. Don't be late. Osana... I thought you were childhood friends with that boy. Shouldn't you already know what type of music he listens to? I already knew what kind of music he listens to, but I asked him anyway, to guide the conversation where I wanted it to go. The important thing is, it worked. I'm happy for you, Osana, but I need to warn you about something. Musume Ronshaku is looking for you. I'm not sure why, but I think she wants to trick you into saying something she can gossip about. Thanks for the heads up. I won't hide from her. I'll just talk with her and get it out of the way. Whatever she wants, it can't be that bad. Okay, but just to be safe, pretend that everything you're saying is being recorded. Be careful around her. I'm sure it'll be fine. I just hope it's over quickly. So I can hurry to the computer lab and put together a mixtape for Senpai. What do you need? Pleasure doing business with you. Hey, Osana! Come with me for a minute. Okay. I saw you talking to a boy from another school. Is he your boyfriend? What? Him? Uh, no way. That guy's a total creep. I wouldn't date him if he was the last man alive on Earth. He can go jump off a cliff for all I care. Yikes! I guess I lost that bet. Okay, how about that boy from Class 3-2? What do you think of him? Uh, oh, him? He's just my childhood friend. It's not like I like him or anything. Right. Seriously? Beethoven? Time to drag you into this century, Senpai. Oh, 
was right here the whole time. Okay, senpai. Time for you to hear what real music sounds like. Alright, I'll listen. Osana, what the hell? I can't believe you'd make me listen to this. Osana? You... You kept me waiting, you dummy. Listen up, okay? Because I have something really important to say. What is it? You know, a lot of boys ask me to go out with them. But I always turn them down. It's not like I'm not interested in boys. I just didn't feel like dating anyone. Except for one person. Who? Someone who's always been there. Right next to me. Up until now, I always thought of you as just a childhood friend. No, I was just trying to tell myself that because I was afraid to admit my feelings. But I finally realized I can't keep lying to myself and lying to you. I have to be honest with my feelings. This is so embarrassing, but I can't stand just being friends anymore. Listen up, okay? Because it takes a lot of courage to say this. I... I love you, you idiot! I love you more than anything else in the world! Osana, to tell you the truth, I'm... Very sorry, but I don't think we're right for each other. What? Is this because of the way I've treated you? No, it's not that. It's more than that. I, I can... I can change! I, I can... I can stop! I, I can... Osana, please, don't. It's just... Not going to work. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Senpai... No... Please... Wait... It's what she deserves. Sana. <sighs> um, excuse me. I couldn't help but notice that you seem quite sad about something. Would you like to talk about it? Huh? Um, have we met before? Oh, I'm sorry. My name is Amai Odiaka. We go to the same school. 
I'm sorry if it's strange that I approached you so suddenly. <laughs> when I see a sad face, I can't help but try to make things better. So, what's wrong? For a long time, I thought I might have feelings for my childhood friend, Osana. But recently, we've had such a hard time getting along with one another. Yesterday, she confessed that she had strong feelings for me, but I couldn't bring myself to accept her feelings, since I was worried we wouldn't be able to make it work. And now, I keep asking myself if I really made the right choice or not. Oh, I... I'm so sorry to hear about that. I... I, I can't imagine what that must be like. Hey, it's not much, but maybe this will take your mind off of it for a moment? Oh, um, thank you. <laughs> Go ahead, take one. Hmm. It's good. <laughs> of course. Nobody makes better pastries than my mom and dad. Actually, I'm heading to my parents' bakery right now. Would you like to come with me? It'll take your mind off of things for a while. Oh. No, it's okay. I wouldn't want to be a bother. It wouldn't be a bother at all. If I just leave you here, I'll worry about you. <laughs> well, I guess it would be better than moping around. Okay. Sure. I'll come with you. Then let's get going! You're safe now. Congratulations on eliminating Osana-chan. I didn't expect you to get rid of her that way. But I suppose it works. Disappointed? Were you hoping to see something more violent? Oh, disappointed wouldn't be the right word. Just... surprised. That's all. But that's not why I'm contacting you today. I've learned something that I think you'd like to be aware of. Take a look at this. Who is she? Her name is Amai Odayaka. She's the leader of the cooking club at Academy, and she's been getting quite cozy with your senpai lately. She's fallen for him. Hard. She's quite enamored with the cherry tree myth. So I'm pretty sure she'll be confessing to him this Friday. Rotten luck, huh? Right after saving Senpai from Osana, another girl shows up to steal him from you. Stop playing games. Get to the point. No games. It's simple. I want to see Amai suffer. And I think you're the best person for the job. That's all. Is that really what this is all about? You just want to see girls suffer? It's a bit more complex than that. But let's keep things simple for now. Remember, you have until Friday to deal with your new rival. Eliminate her, or Senpai will never belong to you. He already belongs to me. He just doesn't know it yet. 